What's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jordan and I am so excited to have you here today. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and excited for today's upload. I know you guys love my skating content and want to see more of it, so I was trying to brainstorm different ways I could incorporate skating on my channel without it being too repetitive. So with that being said, today I'm showing you guys elements and tricks that will be used in professional skating. In this video, I did not include every single trick in the book or show element, but I did cover pretty much the basics as well as some staples for show skating because as you may or may not know, show skating is a lot different than competitive skating. So I just wanted to give you a rundown of some elements that will be useful when you are putting together an audition tape to apply to be in a professional ice show, but these are also tricks that you will be using when you are on different skating contracts. One thing I do want to stress always is quality over quantity. It's so much more important to have maybe fewer elements, but they're all really strong rather than being able to do every single element in the book, but they're all kind Kind of mediocre so keep that in mind but these will be useful when you are you know skating in an ice show and they are really fun to work on so yeah before we hop into this video make sure to hit the like button if you do enjoy and subscribe down below if you're not already and also hit me up on all my other socials I'll have them linked down below so with all that being said let's get on into today's video we're gonna start off basic with stops so we're gonna do t-stops and tango stops It's also important that you can stop on your inside edges, so we're gonna do inside stops next. <laughs> Pivot, so I'm just going to do a big back outside edge and to pivot on both sides. because they want a well-balanced skater when they are looking to hire somebody. The next show trick we're going to be doing is spirals. So you can have spirals of any kind that you want. The more the better, but always quality over quantity. So my normal spiral isn't my best, but I do a really nice pull-up spiral. So I'm going to be showing you both of those. But you're making it. in a back spiral position on an outside edge, whatever side is more comfortable for you. Gradually, you're gonna bend your skating leg and reach for the ice. You don't want like a lot of pressure on your hand. It's more just to help you lean into the ice. And then at the very end, you're going to hook it so that you're gonna twist under yourself. So, I will show you. <laughs> Next 
element we are going to be doing is split jumps. So that is both regular split jump and Russian split. I will say though, my Russian split is a lot better than my basic split, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I've also put a little twist on it and I do a Russian split flip, which I will also be showing you. Kind of like a twist on a split flip, so it's a combination of a Russian split and then I finish backwards as if I've done a flip jump. So split and then you're going to twist your body to do like a, the rest of a flip jump. Whatever foot you picked in with is the foot you're going to land on. It'll make more sense when you see it. hitch kick so I don't really know how to explain this one you're gonna start backwards as if you're gonna do a loop jump and then you're going to swing over your second foot so that kind of but it's gonna happen a lot faster and then you're going to resolve on your back foot Butterfly. So there are two ways you can do butterfly. The first is just edging into a butterfly and the second way you can do it is with stars. It's very very beneficial if you can do them so I will actually show you stars first on its own and then we will do star butterfly. butterfly same thing without stars you're going to start on an edge and you're going to want to bring your body swing it forward so basically you're getting the momentum from your upper body but then you're going to really use your legs to kick over and you want that second leg to really kick over your head about spins but I did just want to throw in scratch spin and back scratch because those are two really important show elements. They are very very impressive and they make the audience very happy. And then the second is an Ina Bauer. I suck at Ina Bauer's. I've never been able to do them. I have really tight hips, so it's not a necessity, but like everything, it's always good to try everything and work on everything. So I have been practicing, but it's not the best. I really hope you guys enjoyed. 
let me know down below which trick was your favorite if you are a figure skater what is your favorite show trick to do i have brainstormed a bunch of different skating video ideas so make sure you stay tuned for that and subscribe because you don't want to miss out and i think that's all i've got so i love you guys to the moon and back as always and i will see you in my next video bye guys